What's up, fuckers? Little after hours mail call, goddammit. Coming in hot. Just got in from a uh, long goddamn day today, y'all. I was on the grind from about 5 o'clock this morning. And I ain't touched down at the crib till after 8. Actually, about 8.30. Eastern Standard Time, in case you wonder. But anyways, I digress. If you enjoyed this content, I'd ask that you would subscribe, like, share, and comment, most importantly. I love those goddamn comments. I had a guy recently tell me that I cursed too much. Told me it was a turnoff. Well, listen up there, bud. I ain't trying to turn you on there, cocksucker. So fall back. Anyways, I digress. Let me not get into that type of mood, man. We got some good shit on deck. Two boxes that I uh, got from Amazon. I used to be kind of an Amazon sniper, man. I would, you know, always snag something from Amazon. Kind of fell back and I've been mostly dedicated to White Mountain Knives and, um, you know, all the other companies. But 99% or rather 90% of the time I'm gunning for White Mountain and then everything else is second. All right. These are one of these is a is a brand new release and, and, and I can tell that that's the one. This other one is a uh, it was released earlier this year. I never never held it, never saw it in person. So um, let's get into it. Uh, knife I'm using is a uh, is a good damn knife, bro. I, I bought this knife probably in April of 2022, and I promise you, I held I've I've pocketed this maybe six or seven times. And that is the QSP Hawk. Um, one good thing about getting so many knives sometimes is when you forget about them and you find them again, it's just like a damn new knife. You're like, man, that shit is good. I forgot how good it was. See, now I'm trying to... Mentally, I'm trying to make sure I don't curse too damn much. This guy gave me a complex. Well, so you fuckers can see off the gate... We have a Civivi. Which one is it? Let's see. This one is the Kai V Plus. I had seen that Kai V recently, the little um, slip joint one, and I was like, eh, that's all right, but I wasn't digging it. But then I found this one. It's a Plus. Lion Steel Thrill. It's a Plus, and it locks. So I said, that's my that, that's my jam. So Vivi always got these uh, decent quality taco shell pouches. I got quite a few of them. I was on my Civivi vibe when I first jumped in the game. Actually, my first decent quality knife I purchased was a Civivi, a Civivi Conspirator. Facts. Could never have enough soldier rags. Love these damn things. You guys may have seen this. I'm sure you all have, but I have it. And this is the Kai V Plus. It is a front flipper. Uh, it didn't have much of a detent. But I, I, I kind of like the blade, man. Um, we have a carbon fiber twill blended in with the G10. Um, black on black everything. I don't know. That's a modified sheep's foot blade. Little knife, perfect fifth pocket carry. Oh yeah, that D10 is horrible. Oh my lord, you gotta be shitting me. What's going on here? Man, and we're looking at out the gate. We're at damn near 100% lockup. No, we're not, I lied. Where are we at? I'm trying to show the camera. We are at about, what? What do y'all call it? Shit, that's past 50%. That's not, that's no bueno, my friends. Oh man, this is, uh, I'm not too impressed with this one, y'all. D10 is, look at that shit. I'm having a, I guess I might have to, no. It, man, that is horrible. Come on, Civivi, do better. No blade play. Maybe that's why I'm supposed to do that top flipper shit. I don't know, man. This one may be going back. 
I wanted it to be better. It does have a deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. I believe this is Nitro V Steel. Let's see something. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, put this shit to bed now. This is going back. I ain't feeling that. No, no, no. That one's going back. Oh, let me, uh, I'm keeping the soldier ready. Our secret. Let's uh, put it back in the box. I hope this next one doesn't disappoint, and I don't think it will, because it's from one of my favorite brands uh, that has budget. These were these were basically budget knives. These two. Uh, what's in this box or what's in this envelope? Actually, I may try to save these. These are good to save, man. If you're able to get it open without, yeah, I can do it. Cause I do a lot of shipping with knives and shit, I'm trying to recoup some of my some of my funds. So I save these. Oh, we got two things in here. This is for my Dremel. I was trying to start doing some polishing. Like on, on some of my satin blades, you know, that you get scratches on. I had seen a YouTube video where a guy polished them. So I bought a pack of these, assorted tips, do some polishing, try to get some of those. Uh... Actually, really why I bought it, true story. I had, um, I had this knife anodized by a, a YouTuber. I was not happy with it at all. You know, it, it had some, 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 some spots that were darker than the others and so I, I went ahead and applied some wink and um then I tried to do like a a, a partial polish but the tip kind of disintegrated on me so I needed to buy more so that's that's how we got to this point but that's not what y'all are here for y'all want to see what's in this box and it is a Miguron baby like I said, Miguron, um, I've gotten three Miguron knives in my collection, all budget, all under 50 bucks or right at the $50 point. And I love all of them. Um, so this one just dropped. This one, let's see if they got a name for us somewhere. Let's see if y'all can see it. The Miguron Pelora. Let's get into this hoe. Yeah, Miguron's doing the right. I would love to eventually get some of their uh, premium stuff, man, but they're not cheap, and they sell out rather fast. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be my goal. I got a lot of goals when it comes to these knives. Stay tuned too, man. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to hit some more content for y'all. Feed the masses, because I got some good shit coming, I promise you. I ain't gonna shit you. It's going to be worth it, man. Uh, trying to be nice to this box, but I don't know if that's going to work. Let's get it open. How about that? I saw this knife, full disclosure. I first saw it on these knives, and I immediately logged on to Amazon and ordered it for myself. And this, once again, is the Polora by Miguron. Blade came centered out the gate. G10 is a, it's all right, it's not bad. Let's see the action. Oh yeah, that's a fucking detent right there. Take note, right out the gate. Flies out, kind of a um, generic ergos. There's nothing that, you know, but I mean, you know, this was less than 50 bucks, man. We got 14C 28M blade steel. We have uh, the flats have been our satin finished. The uh, the grind is uh, stone washed. I'm digging the way they did that. I don't know if you got the cameras doing it justice. Only to go, we have a uh, backspacer on the back. For that, for what I paid, they're giving us a titanium pocket clip that is not reversible. Right or right hand tip up only. But look at that action, right out the box. I tell you, man, Miguron does not disappoint. I wish they would have had a little bit of jimping up there, but now I'm just nitpicking. Thumb studs are very, very um, robust. You're not going to have a problem hitting that thumb stud. 
Oh yeah. Good sharpening soil. This is a winner, man. I can tell already. I'm digging it. Gonna keep this. It may even go in the goddamn pocket tomorrow. Who knows? But there we have it, y'all. This was just a quick unboxing for you guys. Uh, shit, since I got it out, let me see if I got something quick. Let's throw what I got out here for some size comparison. There goes that Hawk. The QSP Hawk, if you're familiar with that, you can see the Mickey Run is definitely bigger than that. Let's put up one of my favorite knives, and that is the Artisan Cutlery. Let me back up a little bit. Artisan Cutlery Arian. This is the um, Blade HQ exclusive with that fat Arctic Storm fat carbon. Or Arctic Storm carbon. Yeah, Arctic Storm carbon fiber. There we go. Get it right. So the Miguron is definitely um, thicker and wider than uh, both of these knives. Those are the only two I'm going to put up for right now. That's it, y'all. What you think? I think we got a winner here, man. Um, great, great budget knife, I can tell. Got a nice flat grind, but it gets very thin behind that edge. Um, blade stock is thick up here, but the edge is very nicely well done. Is that a hollow? Sometimes it's hard for me to tell. I ain't even going to shit you, but that might even be a goddamn... No, I think that's a flat, y'all. Anyways, that's what I got. That's what I unboxed. Miggy Ron Pelora. We ain't going to count that first one because it's going back. Uh, I'm going to give it my seal of approval. Great action, great ergos, great blade steel. Get yourself one. Love you. Mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.